The big picture point about Brexit is that it's incoherent, that there's no strategy here that's thought out, and that's going to cause tension going forward. And citizens' rights is a good example of that. Say, for example, EU citizens. The British believe Brexit to be a nationalist project. Primarily, it's about forwarding and foregrounding the British. So the European citizens don't fit, except, of course, they do. The country desperately needs them. So it hasn't worked out whether it celebrates their departure or continues to guarantee their existence. That's point one. Point two, what about citizens' rights being guaranteed by the UK Supreme Court? The British authorities made a big fuss about that. But of course, they've also made an even bigger fuss about parliamentary sovereignty. So if Parliament's sovereign, the court takes what Parliament tells it. So after the requisite number of years, supposedly eight, will the UK Supreme Court be instructed to throw us all out? There's no answer to that. Taking back control. The Brexiteers are caught by their own arguments. And then, thirdly, the Irish. It's not just about the border, you know. It's also about citizens' rights. The British cannot work out what to do about the Irish in Britain. Are we European? They don't count us. Do we have to register? They don't know. They don't even know who we are. I'm Irish. So you've got the Irish who are a nothing, neither British nor European, demanding that they are European, sitting at the core of Britain for centuries. What will we do about them? So for these various reasons, I think that the citizens' rights issue, with the other issues, is going to cause an astonishing subversion of the Brexit project going forward, not because people want to, but because it's poorly thought out.